I see that I'm online. Are we on? I think we're on. Can you guys hear me? We on. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show my face for a little bit. So hey guys, welcome to our live paint party. So my name is Marina. I'm going to be your host for this evening, and I'm joined here by my boyfriend, Alex, as always. <laughs> so we are giving you 10 minutes to set up. So grab your drink, get your supplies, um, grab your friends, put your kids to sleep, whatever you need to do. You have 10 minutes to do it before the next instruction. Right, Alex? Get that adult beverage ready. That's right. So if you guys are just joining, please say hi in the chat. Let me know where you're from. Hey, Kobe and Emily. Hey, Elena. Hi, Jennifer. Awesome. So while you guys are setting up, I'm just gonna quickly go over my supplies. And let me know if the music gets too loud. I'm trying to create a vibe here. Okay, so we have our canvas. Where's the check, Alex? I'm waiting for the check. Check. <laughs> we have our palette paper with five um, paints. So we have white, yellow, red, blue, and black. Um, and if you guys bought the kit, I actually have the paint pots here. This looks a little bit, a little gross, I should say. Um, so I like to use Q-tips to get the paint out of the paint pot. And I usually just take out maybe half of it or so. So that way I keep the rest of the paint clean just in case if I don't use it. Um, so we also have our cup with water. Alex? Big check. <laughs> and then we have our two brushes. So I have my flathead brush and I have my small round brush. And I need to be careful not to get it in my drink, which I think I just did. And I also have my adult beverage with me. Cheers. <laughs> Um, and tonight I made a gin and tonic, I think. Um, Alex, what do you have? I have a little Macallan on the rocks. Ooh, fancy. You're always so fancy. It's not fancy. We just keep it in a nice standard. <laughs> we got some international from Toronto. No way. Welcome. Hey, Ina. Hey, Amanda from Indiana. Very cool. Okay, let me switch back to my screen. So we do have a couple more minutes. Um, do we need a refill already or are we good? Wow. <laughs> it's about steady pace. Yes. And if you guys are not familiar with the painting that we're doing, it's in two different places. So it's right in back of my canvas and it's also on this little postcard. Um, and for this month, I'm actually the artist. So we have someone asking what brushes, can you please repeat what brushes we'll be using? And yes. I believe we have someone from Colombia. Colombia? Colombia. Very cool, I was just there about a year ago. Um, okay, so we have a flathead brush. This is a size 12, but any just big brush that you, have I just realized that my um, logo is covering the brush <laughs> um, so this is a flathead brush size 12 you could pretty much use any size that you want as long as it's bigger 
Um, and we also have a smaller round brush. So this one is a size six. I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can see it. Um, and this is for all the finer details. But honestly, you could use whatever brushes you have laying around. And even if you don't have any brushes, you can finger paint or use crayons, markers, whatever you have around the house. Long Island's in the house. So if you guys have any questions about the supplies, now would be a good time. We still have a couple of minutes. So if you need anything, if you're substituting anything, um, let me know and I'll try to guide you through it. <laughs> okay, let me try to do this right without covering them up. So hold on. Okay. Need to move my crank. Okay, so we have two different size brushes. So this one is a flathead brush, number 12. This one is a round brush, number six. But you could use any big brush that you have and any small brush that you have. Um, so the small brush is for the details, which we'll use later. And then the flathead brush is gonna be used for the majority of the time. Lena, hi Lena, welcome. Another person from Canada. Look at this international crowd we got going. Okay. Okay, so we have about two minutes left. You guys can't see this, but Alex is dancing in the background. <laughs> so we're using an instrumental jazz mix tonight and we're hoping we're not gonna get shut down by Facebook for copyright infringements. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Hey, Ina, welcome. I hope you got your box in time. <laughs> if you guys notice, I do have my hashtag um, on the screen. So if you're gonna be posting any stories, any pictures of your final work i would love to see it so please tag me it's my username thank you alex but you could also use that as a hashtag so it's hashtag at creatively box. at creatively box or hashtag creatively box Where will the videos so we're gonna be posting the video after we stream it on Facebook and it's also gonna be available on YouTube. So if you guys don't catch the entire thing, no worries, you could always come back and finish at your own time. But just to let you know, we do have a few giveaways throughout, so you definitely wanna stick around for the whole thing. Okay, so I think we're ready to start. Is it 8.10? It's I think it, we're very punctual around here. That's a punctual household. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is... What pink thing? I did. So... 
So, got it good? Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our large brush in our hand and you guys are gonna repeat the oath after me. So you ready, Alex? I'm gonna try not to mess this up this time. So I promise. I promise. To have fun and relax. To have fun and relax. To not judge my own painting. To not judge my own painting. Or the painting of others. Or the painting of others. And to be fearless. And to be fearless. Cheers, I think we're ready. Boy, we I go. think this is the first time that I didn't mess up the pledge. What yeah. do you think? Well, they say practice, practice makes perfect. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, so the first step, let me just turn down the music a little bit. So we're gonna use our large brush. Um, so I had it in water, so it's already a little bit wet. If you guys didn't have it in water, just wet it a little bit, and you're gonna just dab it on your paper towel. Um, so the first color that we're gonna make is purple. So does anyone know how to make purple? Not even a bit. <laughs> Do you wanna take a guess? This is gonna be warm up for when we give the giveaways. Hint, hint. Red and blue. Red and blue, that's right. Yes! <laughs> so we are gonna mix a little bit of red and blue to get a nice purple color. No lifeline tonight. So I have a pretty dark purple color going. And guys, I think I did not mention this, but just remember that this is your painting, so if you want to use any other colors, if you want to go rogue at any point, if you want to use pink instead of purple, red instead of green, please be my guest and I would love to see what you end up with. Um, so just remember, just be creative and use whatever colors you want throughout. So you don't necessarily need to follow me to the T. Okay, so we are gonna cover um, the top part of our canvas with the purple. So we're just gonna create a nice stripe, but not too stripey. So we're kind of going back and forth with the brush and just covering up the canvas a little bit. And I'm kind of, I'm not making it a perfect stripe. I wanna leave maybe a few empty spaces here and there um, for the other colors. So we got a question of, can they just Yes, so if you already have purple, um, we're using, a, I would say, a pretty dark purple, but honestly, um, it could be whatever shade you have. So it, it, it is a little bit on the dark side. So I'm kind of covering the top part of my canvas with the purple and I'm just going back and forth with my brush and it's, you see, it's, it's a little bit crooked. It's not, it's not a perfect stripe and it doesn't need to be. If you guys are just joining, welcome. Um, please say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're from and what you're drinking tonight. So I got my purple over here. How's everyone doing? We're working through it. Working through We're it. Working through nice. It. It's a team okay. Up. So the next color I'm gonna use is gonna be a uh, medium blue. So I'm gonna wash my brush completely and just make sure that it's pretty clean because we have a different color. So I washed my brush, so now I'm gonna use blue and I'm gonna do a little bit of white just to make it a little bit lighter and brighter. Do you dry your paintbrush after you put it in water every time? So I just dab it on the paper towel. I don't dry it completely, but just so it's not like dripping with water. You don't want it to be dripping with water. 
So I'm just making a nice blue. I think I used too much white, but you could always fix it and go back with the darker blue. Ooh, so. Malibu and pineapple juice. Ooh. So I actually posted a question on my Instagram of which summery drinks are people's favorites. And someone suggested gin and tonic and cucumber. So that's kind of what I was in the mood for today. It was a great suggestion, it's, so thank you. It's a very refreshing drink. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the blue and I'm just gonna go right into my purple. So it's kind of, it's already blending with the purple and I'm just gonna create another stripe, quote unquote, but it's not gonna be a perfect stripe. Guys, so my speaker just shut off. So the music is playing from my computer. So let me know if there's an issue with sound. Um, so if I need to make it lower, louder, let me know. But we're working through all our tech issues, as always. I really that. <laughs> so I'm just going with the brush, just back and forth, just like I did with the purple, and just covering up more of the canvas. So I'm gonna cover the canvas probably up to here or so with the blue. Forgetting to have a few sips. So it's a little bit less than halfway. And I'm just, I'm not gonna make it perfect, I'm gonna leave some spaces in here. So I'm just covering up more of the canvas with the light to medium blue color. And I'm just kind of leaving these spaces in here just because there's gonna be other colors in here. Um, so you don't have to make it into a perfect stripe. You could just um, leave a few gaps here and there. Exactly. The sky is never a perfect stripe. And while you guys are using your blue, you could actually mark your horizon line so that way you know where the sky ends. So I'm going to mark it. It's going to be a little bit less than half from the bottom of the canvas. So it could be like half or a little bit less. So I'm just gonna mark it with the blue like that. So that way I know this is my sky and this is land. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love this color blue. What 
hundred feet. It's the perfect sky blue. So if you covered up um, a lot of your dark purple, you could actually go back in with the purple and you could just add a little bit more. So I think mine is, mine is okay, but maybe I want a little bit more of the purple, right? On the top. So I could just go back in here with purple and I don't even need to wash my brush because purple already has the blue in it. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go back in here and I could add back some of that purple and it doesn't need to be perfectly blended just because it's, it's the sky and the sky is not perfect so i'm just going in here and just adding back a little bit of the purple Hey Diana, welcome. So I am actually gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna do the next color, but let me know if you guys are ready. Cause I can just hang out here until you're ready for the next color. This is just really a dangerous. Dangerous placement of my drink. You ever don't look while you dip? You ever dip? I probably got a little bit of paint here already. <laughs> Alright, well someone said they're ready, so let's do this. Oh yeah? Okay. Okay, so I'm just washing my brush. So you guys are gonna need to wash your brush completely because the next color is gonna be totally different. It's gonna be orange. Oh. So, do you know how to make orange jokes? Is it red and yellow? It is. Killing it. Great. And if. And if some of you guys have orange already pre-mixed, um, that's totally fine. You could use whatever orange you have. So I'm gonna mix yellow and red to make my orange. Just make sure that your brush is completely clean. And just use a little bit of red because the red is a lot stronger than the yellow. So you don't need a lot of it. So just kind of add it in slowly um, just to see what the color ends up looking like. Because if you add too much, it's gonna look very red. Oh, you guys are so good with your color theory. Red and yellow. Okay, so right now I'm gonna add the orange in here and I'm gonna cover up pretty much the rest of the sky, but I'm gonna leave a little circle for the sun. So just if you draw just a little circle here to mark where your sun is and then cover in the rest of your sky with the orange. Um, and just when you mix it into the blue, it's actually gonna turn green. So just be careful with that. It looks really cool, um, but you don't want too much green in the sky. I mean, unless, unless you do, why you know, not? why not? So I'm just gonna add the orange in here. And don't worry guys, if you think that you messed up um, and you have too much green, you could always cover it up. So there's really no such thing as messing up. Um, so if I see that I have too much green, which might happen, I could cover it back with the blue.
Is this a sunset or is this dawn? Dawn or dusk? I think it's dusk. So I'm kind of going into the spots that I left um, and putting a little bit of orange in here. So we have Jade and Sabrina who changed the music. <laughs> what was your inspiration for this painting? It's a good question. Um, honestly, it's where I want to be right now. It's a good answer. Just Relaxing a little beautiful. escape. Um, into a peaceful place with no people. <laughs> Except for you, Alex. <laughs> so I'm going right into the blue, so don't be scared to blend right into it. This is where the fearless part comes in. <laughs> Elevator music is the only music that doesn't get flagged by Facebook. Someone said a Ukrainian flag. This does look like a Ukrainian flag. <laughs> so I'm just covering this up with the orange. Also, you guys can take some of the orange and take it in to your blue and just kind of take it up into the sky. So don't be scared to add it in higher places. And if you feel like you added too much, then you could always cover it up with the blue. So you can't, you really can't mess this up. I don't think so, but I can turn it off. Oh, elevator music is gone. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. Sorry, guys. Now you could hear the ASMR of the brushes, which I think is better than elevator music, to be honest. Okay. How's everyone's orange looking? I was about to... I know. And I also have my water glass back here, just in case. Um, so I think Lord of the Rings soundtrack is very risky because it's just it's just too popular. It's too mainstream. It's very dramatic. But that that's actually a good idea. Okay, so I think we're ready for the yellow. So the next color that we're gonna use is yellow, so just wash your brush again. Try to get it as clean as possible. And then we're gonna fill in the sun with yellow. So this one you don't need to mix. I don't think you can mix yellow. So I'm just gonna fill in. Brighten the sun. Brighten the sun. And then I'm just gonna take the yellow and kind of go into the orange a bit. And spread it around. So it looks 
brighter and then you could fill in the sun again if it became muddled because you're spreading around the yellow you could fill it back in so right now i'm just spreading the yellow around so i'm just adding some horizontal strokes of yellow just around the sun and it's blending right into the orange which is it's kind of cool kind of just spreading the horizontal strokes from the sun horizontally it actually it looks much cooler on the screen than it does on my canvas <laughs> <laughs> which is good right yeah that means we're seeing the best version <laughs> so i'm just filling it back in and my paint is a little bit wet here, so once it dries, it's going to be much easier to fill in the sun. And so, I have an anticipation for this giveaway. I wonder what it could be. The giveaway? Yeah. Ooh, you're going to have to wait a little bit. <laughs> Luda, hi Luda. How's everyone doing with the yellow? Should we move on to the red? I think that's our last color in the sky. Who's ready? Alex, you ready? I'm always ready. Stay ready. So I'm gonna wash my brush and get ready for the red. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of red and I'm actually going to go right on the horizon line and just take it up into the orange and we'll see what happens. It might blend, it might not. We're going to experiment a little bit. They call it an adventure for a reason, right? Yeah. So I'm just taking it up into the orange. And I'm actually using the sharp side of my brush just because I want to get thinner lines. So I'm not using the flat part, I'm using the edge of it. Um, just so I could go in here and just do an actual line. And I'm just taking it up. colors are too bright maybe the next painting that we do well, and then I'm just gonna take the red and I'm gonna take it up into the sky as well and just see where else I can I can add it so I'm just adding it a little bit onto the sides here, right into the blue. And if you guys don't like how that looks, you could always cover it back up with the blue. So don't worry, don't think about messing up. So I'm just taking it um, on the sides and like spreading it into the center a little bit.
you know, if your paint is not drying, that's actually a good thing because it blends better. Um, but also, you could just use a blow dryer if you really need to. I've seen that. I've seen that on YouTube. I think it works, although I've never tried it. Or that might just be for watercolor. I don't know. But it wouldn't hurt to experiment. So you guys could play around with the sky if you want to add a little bit more yellow somewhere, if you want to add orange, blue, wherever. This is the time to kind of go back in um, and see where you could add some of the other colors if you want to. Absolutely. What do you think I should add here? Should I add anything? Yeah. Should I add a little blue? In here? Cover up this orange a little bit? Maybe? A little more green? Why not? So now I think once my yellow has dried a little bit, I could go into the sun and make it a little bit more of a circle. Are you still using the thin edge? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe I want to add a little bit of yellow to the top. So this is where um, you guys can be creative and just add some of the colors wherever you want. Um, so I'm adding a little bit of yellow to the top here. It's probably going to turn green, but that's okay, right? And then if you don't like it, you could just cover it up with, with the purple. covered it up see it's it's that easy just so, like that yeah there's no way to really mess anything up here so if you guys want to be bold this is a little bit of an intimidating step but we're going to do it together and we're going to see what happens so i'm going to add a little bit of white onto my canvas. You ready, Alex? Hey, now. So I'm just going to use the edge of my brush and just add it in a little bit as lines into certain places. So here we go. We're still alive. One we got it. So I'm kind of blending it in to the orange a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit on the other side. Kind of like clouds and then I'm just gonna just lightly um, go over with your brush so it kind of blends into the other colors <sighs> we got this we got this and then I might add a little bit to the top here and then I'm just gonna wipe my brush and I'm just gonna go over it a bit just to blend it here so I'm just lightly I guess this is called dry brushing I think um, so I'm just going over it with my brush so it blends into the other colors how does that look does that look okay great we survived
I have a wet spot on my canvas, so I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna cover it up with paint. I, like I don't know why I'm telling you this, Alex. Me <laughs> Is it water time? I'm excited for the water time. It is water time. How's your everyone's sky looking? I think it's also time to refill your uh, drinks if you need to. So we're going to wash our brush unless you have yellow on your brush already. We're just going to wash it because the next color that we're going to use is yellow. This is going to be fun. I love the water. The yeah. Water the yellow. lake, the lake with the sun reflection is awesome. Okay. So we're going to use yellow. And so right where your sun is, that's going to be your line of yellow. So you're going to go horizontally um, all the way down on your canvas. So I'm just creating, um, I guess, a vertical stripe, sort of, a little column. And it's not perfect, it's just you're going with your yellow all the way down. And you could get a little bit wider as you go down. But it's even fine if you don't, just because you're going to cover it up with the other colors anyway. So don't worry about it too much. There are no mistakes, exactly. Okay. So now we're going to add a little bit of red to the yellow and we're going to make orange again. So we're kind of working backwards um, with what we did with the sky. So we're starting with the light colors and working our way to the blue. So now you're going to go in with orange on the sides of the yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go right into the yellow with my orange and just go all the way down. And I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to cover up some of the yellow at the top just so it looks like it's getting thinner at the top and it's getting bigger um, closer to you. So this is the orange that I made just so you guys can see it. And I'm just going with the orange on the sides of the yellow. And I'm actually, I'm also using the edge of my brush just so I could get some of the lines in here. Not yet. Alex is just really anxious for the giveaway. He's like, where's the giveaway? I'm so ready. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going in with my brush using the edge and I'm just covering up some of the yellow and it's kind of, it's just blending in. And you're going in a horizontal direction the entire time.
So don't be scared to get messy with it. You're just going right into the yellow and just using the orange on the sides. I love the sound of the brush. It's soothing. <laughs> it's very soothing. So you're going with some of your brush strokes right into the yellow and covering it up a little bit. Does it? In real life or on the screen? Okay, so now we're going to go in with the red and do the same thing on the sides of the orange. So you don't even need to wash your brush. Um, you could just dip right into the red and just go in here. And also I'm just creating horizontal lines right and taking them right into the orange. And I'm also using the edge of my brush again. I'm gonna try to fix this um, watermark in my sky, but I don't know if it's dry yet. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, was. yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll need to do an extra layer later. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Is anyone painting for the very first time? I think this is a really great beginner painting and it's a lot of um, mixing and cool techniques that you get to learn. Yeah, you gotta just dive right in. The cool thing about doing the the water is we don't have to wash our brush you because we're going backwards. So when we're adding the blue here, we don't really actually no. Never take mind. That back. I take it back. We're gonna have to wash our brush before the next step. But so far we, we didn't. Okay, 
So now we're gonna go in with the blue and just finish up our canvas. Oh baby, let's do it. You ready? So we actually do have to wash our brush this time because it's a completely different color. So I'm gonna take the blue and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to create the same color that I used in here. And now I'm gonna go right into the red and just cover up the canvas. So you're gonna see it's gonna turn a little bit purple, I'm assuming. Yeah. Why? So I'm actually going right into the red here with the same horizontal lines. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna go a little bit into the red. I don't know why I have so much white on my brush. Morning. You keep you keep thinking that it's still because it's so light. But right now, before the darks and the purples and everything start mixing and coming Maybe. together. Maybe. Guest painting? What does that mean? I, I think that would be so fun. What if it comes out amazing? Like you never know. There's like zero chance. <laughs> Remember the part in the pledge that says, don't judge your painting? You're being very judgy right now. Or am I just accepting it for what it is? No. So if you guys covered up too much of your other colors with the blue, you could always go back in with the red on top of it and just bring that color back out. So I think I'm gonna do that here because I think I used a little bit too much blue here. So I'm just gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna go back in with the red and try to fix it. Because we can do that, exactly.
So I'm going to use a little bit of the red and I'm just going to go back in here. And just bring it back out. So just make sure that your entire canvas is covered and that you can't see any white through it. And I think we're almost ready for the first giveaway. Don't even tease me. I feel it. Okay, so Alex, you ready? Here's what we're, here's what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so we are gonna be giving away uh, one smock, and this smock has the Creatively logo on it, and it's made out of a really cool material. You can cook with it, you could paint, you could do whatever you want. Um, it's really awesome. So we have one of these smocks right okay. here that we'll be sending to the lucky winner. Um, so the way that we're gonna do this is, I'm gonna ask a question, and whoever can answer it correctly first is gonna get it. So Alex, just make sure that you write down the name of the person who gets it, and we'll follow up with them later. You ready? No. We'll give Alex a second to get a pen. Okay, so this is this is gonna be a little hard because I, I need to you know make you work for a little bit, I right? Think so. Um, okay, so the question is, give me two ways to make brown. So the color brown. So any two ways. There's like six different ways or even more to make it. So any two ways. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. And no Googling. Red and blue. No, that makes purple. Green, green and red. Hold on. Green and red, orange and blue. Yes. So someone said, Heidi. so I think it's Heidi. Okay, so I think it's Heidi, right? Let me just check. Unless Emily. Green and red or blue, red and Green and red, or red, that's also right. Okay, so I think Emily's came up first. She did. We're gonna first. we're gonna give it to Emily. So green and red, and blue, red, and yellow. So blue, red, and yellow. We've mixed that a lot for um, the last few paintings that we did. Awesome! Congrats. So we'll be following up with you. I think we have your address already. So you're good. Um, and there's also, so it's, it's basically um, blue, red, and yellow, and then complementary colors, so purple and yellow, and then blue and orange, and green and red. So all those combinations make brown. <laughs> I was like, what's the question again? <laughs> Diana, you were, you were close. Awesome. Okay, so we do have one other giveaway later on. So right get your um, color trivia ready, or actually creatively trivia, because the next one is gonna be. Don't give I'm not gonna give it away. I'm not gonna give it away. But it's not gonna be color theory. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. So now we now that we covered the canvas, the next step is gonna be using 
the small brush, finally. That means we're getting to the finer details. The finer details. So we are going to use black to create a little hill region in the back. Okay, so we're gonna create a wavy line for the hills. You ready, Alex? I'm okay, so it's gonna be above your horizon line. So you're just gonna create some hills. Here we go, here we go. We made it. We made it. And then we're just gonna color them in with the black. That's with a small brush can. Yeah. And the bottom part of the hill is still gonna be a pretty, um, a pretty straight line for the horizon. And we're just gonna color it in. And if you want, you can make your hills bigger, you can make them mountains. Um, so it's really up to you. And you could always start small and then just expand on them as well. And I'm just coloring in my hills. Oh, on on screen or? How's everyone doing? I feel like my horizon is a little crooked. Can you let me know? Because I'm like looking at it from a weird angle. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but you know, no painting is perfect, you know. It's an adventure. The earth is tilted, you know? Yeah. And plus, your your horizon could be crooked in your painting because it's you could be painting a fantasy land. You know, it doesn't have to be a right. real. Maybe your view right? is tilted. Or maybe hill. you're just tilted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I finished up coloring in the hills and now we're gonna do the reflection for the hills. So we're gonna mix um, a little bit of purple. So, Alex, do you remember how to make purple? Listen, I got it once, twice is asking too much. <laughs> so we're gonna do blue and, blue and red. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I actually need to add a little bit of blue. So I'm running out. Okay, so 
Okay, so I'm mixing a little blue, a little red to make purple. And then I'm gonna add a reflection for the mountains underneath. So I'm, I'm basically gonna do a mirror reflection of them, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna go in here and add this hill. This looks very blue. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more red, but hey, it could be whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna make this hill here and when you're approaching the end of that hill you kind of just let it fade into the water and then I'm gonna go in here and add a little bit of a reflection And then the same thing underneath these hills. So you're just doing a mirror image of them. Um, but you don't have to be perfect with it. There's so much glare from my light that I can't really see my canvas. <laughs> no. So I'm just adding this reflection underneath the hills. And if you think that you made it too big, um, you could always go back in with the blue and just cover it up. see what I did there. It looks good. <laughs> I'm just really tempted to add some trees, but I'm not going to do it. It's just I'm just itching to do it. Okay. So we added our reflection and I think, I think it's time for the boat. Say the boat. You ready? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. I think I might need to move the light a little bit just so That's I could see it. Yeah. better yeah sort of can everyone still see yeah. yeah 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 okay so i'm gonna take a sip of my drink first before we do the boat okay so for the reflection we just added a little bit of purple so we mixed red and blue and we just added a little bit of purple underneath the, the hills as a reflection so everything is pretty much mirrored. So if this hill is really big, then you make the reflection a little bit bigger here. And then if these hills are small, you just make it a little bit smaller underneath these hills. And then the same thing here, this hill is bigger, so I extended the reflection a bit. Let me know if that makes sense, Jana. Okay. I'm ready. 
You ready? For the boat? Your computer's right. Okay, so we're gonna take our small brush and we're gonna dip it into the black. So we're gonna use black for our sailboat. So the important thing to remember, so I'm actually gonna hold up this card, is that your sailboat is not that big. So in order to make it look like it's in the distance, don't make it too big. So um, it's actually, so on my canvas, it's actually about the size of my finger. So it's probably like three inches or so. Um, so it's gonna be right here. So I'm not gonna make it bigger than, you know, the, the size of my finger. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a triangle. We can do this, okay? You ready, Alex? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna start um, a little bit above your hill, if your hills are like mine. Um, and we're gonna draw a straight line. Okay, so this is about the size of my finger. <laughs> um, but it could be bigger, it could be smaller, um, just as long as it's not too big, that way it won't look like it's in the distance. Um, so then we're going to do the other side of the triangle. There we go. Okay. So just a triangle. And then we're going to do the other side of the triangle, but we're going to start it a little bit lower than the one that you have. Okay. So we're going to do it a little bit lower than this triangle and we're going to extend it a little bit lower. So I'm just doing the other side and I'm leaving a gap in between. Okay, so this is also, this is the line. Okay, so these are the two sails. Alex is like painting black on pretty backgrounds is more stressful than bungee jumping. I, I feel you girl. Um, but it doesn't have to be because just remember you could always paint over it. Um, and in my, one of my last posts, I actually painted over my entire canvas. Um, I just painted it with white and you could start fresh. So there's really no way to mess up. So here I have the two triangles. You guys can see, I can move it closer to the camera. Okay, so this is triangle one and two. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape for the base of the boat. Something like this. Okay. So I'm actually going to make this sail a little bit lower just so it can connect with the base of the boat better. So then I'm just going to connect these. So I'm just going to draw thin lines, just connecting the sails. Okay, and then in between as well. That's so cool. So I just drew two horizontal lines just in between, just connecting the two sails. So that was pretty easy, right? So now you guys can color it in with the black. So the sails, yes, so the sails are touching on the top, so they're connected on the top, but in the middle, they're separated. So the two triangles are separated in the middle, but they're connected by these horizontal lines. Okay, so now I'm gonna color this in.
Okay, so I'm just coloring this in. I'm also tempted to add birds to the sky, but I'm just, no, I'm just not going to do it because um, I know Jane is watching and she's not going to like it. So there's our sailboat, you guys did it. So now you're going to add the same reflection that you added to the mountains. You're going to add it underneath the sailboat. So we're just going to make purple again and just add a little bit of a reflection. So I'm going to wash my brush and I'm just going to make purple again. Jean was asking how you make it stand out. Um, Jana, I'm not sure what you mean. Is it blending into the background with the black? So you just want to make sure that your, your sailboat is on an area of the canvas that doesn't have black. Um, so if you made it too high, you might need to make the water in that area more blue. Or you, or you could actually make your mountains lighter. So if you make your mountains like a green or a purple or whatever, then, then the black... Um, is going to stand out on the boat. Or that's right, Alexandra, you could make the boat higher up so that way um, it's the, the sky is in back of it. Okay, so I'm going to make purple. the purple <laughs> so for those of you who don't know yet it's red and blue good question Alex so I'm gonna go underneath the boat with the purple and I'm just gonna do a few horizontal lines underneath kind of the same way as we did for the mountains so just fading it into the blue I think it might be time for another another giveaway. Huh? Would what? What'd you say? I'm so ready. Okay, you ready? Okay, so we are gonna give away another smock. Okay, so we have one more of these guys. Um, with our logo on it, you could use it for painting, cooking, whatever. Um, so you ready? This is gonna require some typing. Okay, so the next question I'm gonna ask, so this one's a, a little bit challenging, I would say, but not if you've been to the other paint nights that we had. So what are the two names of the last two paintings that we did? Oof. So the last two paintings that we did, what were their names? This one is Rock the Boat. 
for reference. Okay, basic beach is one of them. Jean is really trying. <laughs> and no cheating. Basic beach, tequila sunrise. Emily can't win two. <laughs> Emily, you can't win two. Emily. So I'm going to give this one to Anna. But Emily, that was awesome. <laughs> so Anna, you got this one. Awesome job. Cactus and basic beach. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so we have our two winners. It's Emily and Anna. So I think I have both of your information. So I think we're good there. You guys are so good. Okay. So I think we're on... One or, so we have two steps to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the next step is we're going to create some land on the sides. A little marsh? A little, a little marsh. Is it, is it marsh? Yeah, I think so. Swamp, marsh, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no, Jane. Okay. So we're just going to do a horizontal line here and we're gonna make it a little bit thicker um on the left side so just a horizontal line and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so just a horizontal line here for the marsh and we're gonna make it just a little bit thicker um on the sides okay just like that Mine is, my horizon is just really not a horizon. Okay, so then we're going to add some grass to the marsh. So the way that we're going to do that, we're also going to use our small brush. We're going to use the black paint and we're just going to start from the land. So from the horizontal line that you created and just going up and just apply very light pressure to your brush so it comes out thin. Um, and you could actually dip it a little bit in water just so it kind of gets even thinner. So you're just applying really light pressure to the brush and you're just creating grass. And you could just go crazy with it. It could be short, it could be long, it could be in different directions, as long as it just gets thinner at the top. And you could thin out your paint by just dipping it a little bit into the water, just so you have more control of it. And you could just go crazy with it. Um, my grass is going in all sorts of directions. And my boat is kind of is pretty close to the grass, so I'm just gonna make um, I'm just gonna make it short over here, just so um, I don't cover up the boat.
okay like that so your grass is kind of thick on the bottom and then at the top it gets thinner And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And it's kind of going in all sorts of directions. This is only my like fifth time painting this painting. <laughs> How's everyone's grass looking? So guys, while we're painting this grass over here, I do want to tell you about our next painting, um, which is already up on our website and it's up on, on social media as well. So definitely check it out. It's like the most fun painting that I've probably ever done. Um, and I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> um, I was using sponges for it, so I'm going to provide sponges in our next box and it's going to be a lot of fun it's a galaxy painting it has really cool stars um and sky and it's really fun to make so definitely check it out and we'll be creating the event for that one in the next few days so definitely follow us on social and we'll give you more information on the event are you excited alex Woo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna turn my painting upside down for the grass reflection just because it's easier to paint that way. Oh, you yeah. So I'm gonna wash my brush. So we're gonna do the grass reflection with purple again. Um, so I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna mix purple again.
So I'm mixing red and blue for my reflection. Does that make purple? It does. You're so good. So I have purple over here. So then I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna make um, the reflection. So I'm just gonna mirror exactly what I did. And my grass is, is pretty low, so I'm just gonna, I guess, make it a little bit shorter this time. So I'm just doing the land here and then I'm gonna go in and do the grass with my brush. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's move this a little closer to me. If your purple is too dark, you could always add a little bit of white to it to make it lighter just so it looks different from the grass. And I'm just adding some grass for the reflection. So I'm just adding a little bit of the grass here. And then once you flip the canvas around, it's just all gonna come together. You ready? I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> So there we have it. Rock the boat. You guys did it. I am so excited to see all your work. So I have my hashtag, actually my um, username, but also can be a hashtag at the bottom of the screen. It's at creatively box. So please, if you guys are posting on social, I would love to see it. So please tag me in it. Um, and watch out for our next painting, which is gonna which is already revealed on our website, but um, we're gonna announce the date of our live very soon. Right, Alex? Yes. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I hope to see you on the next one and talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I need to figure out how to stop this live. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you.